What's up guys, Steam here. Uh, I'm such an idiot. I just did a whole tutorial on the, how to use this pen tool and I found out that my mic was muted. It's cool. It's a rookie error. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> anyway, so that, what we're going to do uh, today is just literally have this kind of like look kind of 3D-ish wire going through our text kind of make it look a little bit more interesting like it's interacting with the scene it's only pretty rough but uh... yeah um... this is a picture i put up earlier today on your opinion but uh... i kind of got mixed responses like i know it looks like a lot of strats is so you know i want to be more original i'm gonna have a bit few more ideas f f uh, and uh... just come up with something completely original that no one's ever seen before so look out for that um, right so i'm just gonna delete these two layers um, what you want to do is first off you want to get a the pen tool and you want to you just literally want to let's zoom in actually if you press Z on your keyboard to zoom it um, you just want to make like a basic outline like create a path it's called but path path whatever um, so you click here and you just want to make like this little path going through your text and it'll just fizzle out. Um, you can always change little parts, you can move a bit. If you use this, if you click this little uh, button here or if you press uh, A on your keyboard you can move stuff up. Say I wanted that there and then you can go like that. Um, yeah, cool, 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 cool. That looks pretty nice so far. But obviously it's not finished because that would look crap if it's finished. Uh, right. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your uh, brush click um, on the brush tool if you press B on your keyboard you can uh, go up here and you need to diameter to around about 4 it's preference really but uh, hardness on 100% uh, so if that's all set up go back down to your pen tool press P and then you want to right click stroke path and then you want to, if it says simulate press uh, make sure that's ticked and then you want it on none of those apart from brush okay so at the moment I've got some kind of hideous turquoise, I don't know why it's a hit, but we can change it out. Uh, and if you just press delete now on your keyboard, you can have a look at it, I mean that looks awful. Uh, so we want to make that look a whole lot better. So, oh actually I need to go back a little before I delete, before I stimulate the pressure. You want a uh, new layer, so if you come down here and press new layer, then you right click and press stroke path. Okay. Alright, so that's actually a layer and that's not with your background. Okay, cool. Um, so now you want to change some of the layer styles once you've deleted the path. Uh, and now you want to have a drop shadow on it. Uh, you could you could have a bevel, I guess. Preference, really. Outer glow. You don't really need an inner glow unless you really want it. But, um, yeah. Okay. And then the colour overlay, obviously, to change the colour say a grey alright um, I'm just gonna make the outer glow size about 9 and maybe the drop shadow to about 95 cool 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 right so just to make it look like it's actually reacting with your text you need to obviously rub out some bits just to like kinda make it look like it's there so if you come to your eraser tool or press E on the keyboard you just literally, if there's a a bit of the pen tool going through your uh, text, then you want to just rub it out. I mean, it'd probably be health if I zoomed in a lot more here. But, 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 but. okay. Um, so I'm gonna put the hardest up to about 100 on this actually. Maybe not 100, but make sure the diameter on the brush is pretty small because you you don't want um it to I don't know what I'm trying to say here but you, you want to be able to just get the stuff that's on the text and not like hit the stuff on the surroundings I don't know why you can see that but that's obviously not great because that you can see the um, the, 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 the the white it looks like it's been rubbed out before it so it's a bit shabby job but I'm just doing this pretty quickly um, okay and just there, we don't want it there, and we'll have it going over that one, and then there. 
Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. And then, so just literally rubbing it out there, so it's coming through that. You need to have kind of a bit of a thought feeling for this. Cool. That's uh, yeah, pretty much done. That's a pretty quick tutorial on how to do a kind of line, 3D line going through your text, make it look a little bit more interesting. And as I said, I'm not actually going to use this now as much as I like it, but you know, I'm going to make something much more original. And uh, thanks for all your feedback. Um, that's pretty much it for today. Yep, keep your GFX uh, entries coming in for my contest. Deadline's 1st of February, so you've got a little bit of time left to enter. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. Alright, guys, Steam is signing out. Peace. Take it easy. Bye.